All right, this is me, Shaq Black, with Chronic Digital Media, with another segment of Black Stories. Yes, sir. Please introduce yourself and give us your black ground. That's right, I love that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a suave English. I am one of the creators of NFTs with Attitudes and the Hip Hop Archive NFT Collection. Uh, and the, the main curator of this is a guy named Matthew McDaniel, uh, who had the brains and the smarts to, in 1985, become an intern at 1580 K-Day Radio. And the dude was a genius because every person that walked through that door, he made sure he filmed, he went out, bought a camera, documented their lives, documented the birth of West Coast hip hop. And so that's how all of that is preserved in this collection. Mm -hmm. um, now tell me this, uh, on your personal professional note, mm -hmm. what were you doing before the NFT crypto metaverse web three space? Gotcha. Um, I started in web, I started in the crypto blockchain space in 2017. Mm -hmm. um, I was helping, I was filming for companies because I'm a producer, mm -hmm. a TV producer, and I was filming this new birth of these companies. There was one company that was trying to tokenize new businesses in 2017. Mm -hmm. That company went under, but it, it exposed me to the whole blockchain and what was going on. And even while I was there, I, it, I was in Vietnam when I was filming it, but even while I was there, I sat with this old couple and she was kicking her husband because she wanted to put a thousand dollars on Bitcoin when it was 10 cents. Mm. And he didn't let her. And now we're 2017 and Bitcoin is probably like, I think it was like $2,000 or some shit like that. And she was just pissed off that she didn't get to buy it. And, mm. and she's in line, like we're about to leave Vietnam. She's kicking them and, and everybody else like, I own some Bitcoin. But no one, none of us knew about it mm -hmm. when it was 10 cents. So that's kind of how I kind of got exposed to it. And then my from my background, how I met Matthew McDaniel is uh, I was producing a show for WE TV called uh, The Mysterious Death of Easy e mm -hmm. And so by way of producing that, um, uh, one of the executives wanted me to have a conversation with Matthew McDaniel because mm -hmm. they knew he had provided some great footage for um, different movies, straight out of Compton, Defiant Ones, you know, the, all of the pieces of the footage from the hip hop archive is in those films. Uh, and they wanted me to kind of negotiate. So I connected with Matthew, we hit it off right out the gate. I saw his value, you know, we knew exactly what he could do in the space. Mm -hmm. And so we connected, worked it out, uh, and then we became partners and, you know, we set up his NFT deal, we set up his television deal with Universal uh, and Dick Wolf. And, and the brother's just blowing up, man. His, his, mm -hmm. his, his collection is the most important piece of documented history in, in hip hop. So that's the best I can say. You know? Okay, which leads me to my next question. Um, we hear often in social media and in entertainment, people say, I'm doing it for the culture. Gotcha. How would you define or even translate what that project you're working on with Matthew is for the culture oh, in this new space of digital yeah. technology? Twofold. Matthew being so smart to preserve that history, nothing, it would be lost. Even if you go online, you'll hear Ice Cube saying, Matthew, thank you for preserving our history because it would be lost. So we would not have no real moments from the birth of West Coast hip hop. Mm. Besides that, this collection will be a onboarding tool to push urban, African-American people, Latino people, and just people who love the urban culture mm -hmm. into the Web3 space, which is very important because this is the changing of the guard. And every 50 years, how you transact and how you spend money has changed. Mm -hmm. This is that time. And if African-Americans and Latinos and whoever else ever want to try to close the wealth gap, mm -hmm. it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen with Web3. Okay. Yeah. Um, in one of the panels that uh, I was attending earlier, you spoke about um, something relative to real estate. If, that, if I'm not mistaken, yes, it was about real estate in there, digital real estate. Mm -hmm. um, could you talk about uh, that concept that yeah. you were speaking on? Oh, yeah. See, in, in <clears throat> the concept was more real world applications mm -hmm. of this Web3 space or NFTs. Mm -hmm. And real estate is a perfect one because 
real estate, you have a title, which is, you can kind of say, is your smart contract, which an NFT is, uh, a certificate of ownership, you know what I mean? So it's, it's only natural that you can sell a house, buy a house, buy a Lamborghini, any of that on the blockchain. It's actually safer that you store your title, deed, and all that information on the blockchain because it can never be removed, never be changed. You can only add a new uh, input on your ledger that may change something in the one above, but there's always this chronological history. On top of, why would you not, if you built a house from scratch, why not put 10% royalty in that house so that every time it sells, you get something, mm -hmm. even even with a developer. I think that's the most important thing. Put some royalties into your smart contract so that mm -hmm. every time you're always making money off of what you create. Correct. Yeah. Okay, so um, my last question would be relative to the theme of chronic digital media. We strive to inform, empower, and inspire. Mm -hmm. What about the work and projects that you're doing now mm -hmm. uh, would inform, empower, and inspire people of color, yep. women, and young people. Yeah, well, like I said, just the release of the Hip Hop Archives NFT, uh, NFTs with Attitude, that promotion in this space is gonna bring a lot of African-American urban people into the space. Mm -hmm. um, the impact will be closing the wealth gap, which is mm -hmm. what our main goal of blockchainmillionairenft.com, mm -hmm. that's our goal. Our goal is to onboard, push as many urban faces into this space so that we can close it. And I'll give you an example. In um, India, uh, in 1970, uh, they introduced coding and all of this information to, um, to that country. And from 1970, to 2019, India has jumped up five economic groups. Mm. And a lot of people don't say that, but as you see, uh, all the attacks now are on India or Asia because mm -hmm. they set this up. It definitely has something to do with them jumping five economic groups mm -hmm. in 30 years, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So if, if, if I can just get African-Americans, Latinos, Asians, to all come together and get into this space, mm -hmm. we'll definitely close the gap because it'll be another 50 years before something is powerful enough to do it. Okay, and uh, on the last note, mm -hmm. what are your socials? How can people join the Discord, yep. perhaps? Yep. Uh, people interested in following, supporting, even investing in the NFT with Attitudes cool. Project? Um, so if you go to blockchain, MillionaireNFT.com, you can find all of our information, all of our projects that we're doing. If you go to Twitter uh, and just type in NFT with Attitude, you'll find our page, and right there you can join our Discord, or if you just go into the Discord and type in NFTs with Attitude, mm -hmm. it'll pop right up, or Hip Hop Archive, it'll pop right up. And then uh, any information on yourself personally? Oh yeah, uh, on me, I, I, I forget to talk about me, but for me, uh, our goal is, is strictly to, uh, you can find me at all those places, and if you ever want to tap in and figure out how to help close this wealth gap, definitely tap in my DM. Uh, we're on Facebook, NFT Blockchain Millionaire, uh, and Twitter, those are all our Twitter, so you can find us there. Gotcha. Yep. All right, thank you, brother. Uh,